Today I'm going to do a film breakdown of Patrick Foley. Um, before we start, I want to note two things about his game that I really like. Um, he's got amazing posture. When you see him play, he's super upright. And secondly, he does a really good job with a strong slap check, but also not lunging when he slap checks. So I want you to notice those two things while I go through these clips. Um, so here is our first clip. So the first thing I want you to note about this clip is just this initial start of the dodge. A lot of players, when they're especially from up top, they tend to be flat-footed and they wait for the dodger to come to them. Um, they kind of freeze up and feel like they're too focused on like sealing the top side or thinking about which way their their um, matchup's going to go. But the more important thing is to get your feet moving. So you see Foley, he starts in this back pedal, so he's already at a similar speed with his dodger. If you start in this flat-footed position, it's almost impossible to keep up with them. So he starts in this dodge, uh, this back pedal. Comes with him down the alley. And the second thing I want you to notice is right here. So this is, I would say, mostly a feat of hip strength. And just being able to bounce back and forth, that little motion right there, I, like that's that's so pretty to watch. The, kind of being able to do, uh, uh, cover that sort of like jump cut sort of dodge, it's really tough. And like drills where you're kind of, I guess, side shuffle drills are really good to work with this. Um, drills where you're like constant change of motion plyometrics all that sort of stuff is the athleticism aspect that you need um so just being able to stay with this man like that is just super pretty um here's a second clip okay so the main thing, my favorite part of this clip is the initial contact with the stick. So first of all, pay attention to his posture. He's super upright, um, but also low, if that makes sense. So his, his chest is up, but his body's low. And he gets out with that stick and that poke check and just completely knocks the dodger off course. And it's just little things like that that will just mess up an attackman. So he's basically denying the attackman contact with his body. So he's able to get the attackman out with that check and just completely make him not a threat. So he sends him down the alley, he rolls back, and the second thing I wanna notice is just that, that slap I was talking about. He slaps so hard and he's not, I wouldn't say he's really going for a takeaway in these slaps, it's more of a just dominance. He's, these slaps and these, um, it makes the dodger not wanna like come at you. So here, and then he pushes out, and since he's a lefty, he's basically, he's not too worried about the top side because the, the he's not worried about top side because his stick is upfield, so his main thing is just pushing out to the sideline. So he gets him out to the sideline and no more issue. Uh, here's our third clip. Um, so the reason I put this in was I want to talk about what you should do when you're playing an attackman who doesn't look like they're going to dodge and looks like they're going to pass. So right here, in this freeze frame, it looks like this um, attackman is just going to pass the ball off and not dodge. But what I see a lot of players make the mistake of is they'll try to pick off the pass, right? So they'll go out of position and they'll try to pick off that pass. Now, Foley does a really good job. It stays patient and he gets that rollback. So what I would tell players to do, and he doesn't do it as much in this clip, but what I tell players to do is rather than try to go for the ball in the air, pick the ha like hit the hands before he passes. It's so much safer because you're not going to end up lunging, and um, there's a, like honestly a higher chance you'll just break up the pass by messing up his stick movement. Um, so that's whenever I like see new players, they try to jump out in the passing lane. Like yeah, you can be a hero and try to get that ball, but sometimes getting their hands right before the pass is just the best thing to do. And here he doesn't do that, but he's patient and he just stays. Um, he doesn't like bait out for it, so he he just stays in. Uh, here's our fourth clip. Um, so the reason I put this clip in is because I really like his awareness and I like his athleticism, right? I talk about this a lot, but I think deep holes need to work on their athleticism more 
like do more work without your stick, more just weights and more speed training. Because situations like this, the amount of, no one you can't do. There's no amount of footwork you can do that will make you better. A situation like this, this is all just athleticism. So staying with this man and getting under the pick, right? But then it's just a foot race, right? Being able to, if Foley is slower here, he's not able to get up and close out, right? So the faster you are, the less you have to worry about angles, if that makes sense. And the less you have to worry about being strong. Like if you're fast and you can get to above GLE before your attackman, you don't need to be the strongest guy in the field. You, you have the benefit of the angle. So here he gets there in time, pulls him out, and here's the slap again. And just, just the dominance of his slap check, it makes the attackman feel like he needs to roll away from it. So he just slips out and falls over. Um, and here's our last clip. This is kind of a fun one. Now, at first glance, this kind of just looks like a him just like hacking at the guy. And I think in, in like high school across, he'll probably get a penalty for this. But what I want to talk about here is when he throws these checks, look at his body position. He sits back and he doesn't lunge, right? So he throws these checks but he's not like falling forward when he does it. You see a lot of guys who go for these big slap checks. It comes like all from their body and then they, they lean forward and lunge forward and that's how they get beat. But when you watch fully when he throws these slap checks, he's super disciplined. He's sitting back and it feels like he's ready to be in a drop step while he's in his slap. So when you, and this goes for any check, the poke check, like um, a cross check, anything like that, sitting back and having good posture is so, so important for helping you get into a drop step if he the if the attackman dodges. Um, I think that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching.